Okay, I'll just talk through these uh, these little boards. We've um, I've got these on the um, on the shop at the moment. We've got a revision two coming out, which I'm really tempted just to wait until the revision two comes out because there's a few updates on revision two compared to this one. Um, but I'll talk through the concept. So basically, what you've got is you've got six volts input, which is through here. Um, then you've got a little regulator which gives us a five volt supply so we can run these things directly off a six volt battery which gives you an extra bit of oomph and speed um, but then you've got five volts for the logic we've got a nano that sits here and i'll talk through nano shortly and then what you've got is a bunch of pins now each one of these here link to your digital connections 12 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 etc etc um, so what it gives you is it gives you um the ability to plug uh, devices straight into those digital connections uh, that they're, they're configured exactly like a servo so what you've got is you've got a ground a voltage and a signal cable um, so by outputting to each of these pins you can move servos or you can attach a speed controller if you want to and do the similar thing with the speed controller and you can use this as a power distribution board for the six volts which is really quite, quite handy so um so six volts Five volts for there, and this this comes these six volts on these middle pins come straight off the battery, so um, so you've got no power constraints on that. On the outputs, we've got um, well, I'll just go over the components. There's a DF player mini on the back and a Bluetooth module. So this is sound, um, and this is Bluetooth, um, and, and then we've got just a few resistors and stuff which you need to uh, to step the voltage down. There's a little pin there which is a programming pin so if you unplug that you can program the nano you plug that in what it does is it uses the inbuilt serial to talk to that sound module so there's a little jumper there to to program it um, and then you've got the outputs there for digital output and you've got the analog output there if you just want to plug a straightforward speaker in there i tend to use these speaker ones uh, but if you did want to run through an amp, you could use the, the, DAC, the DAC signals there. You'd also need a ground, which is on that third pin. So what it does is it very simple. lets you plug a speaker in direct for sound, or you can go to an amplifier. You can connect all of your control pins. Good distribution for the six volts. And on this side, you've got some access to the analog pins. Um, and what it also does, if you turn over, is you've got a Bluetooth module which is hardwired then into, into the, um, the pins on here. So through software serial, it can talk to this Bluetooth module and you've got the sound module, which again is, is, is hardwired into the um, hardware serial. So what does that do? Well, effectively it gives you a single board, six volts in, you can connect battery, you can connect servos on there. So if you're just using 360 degree continuous servos, they'll run or you can connect speed controllers and you've got access to many, many of the pins on there, inbuilt sound, um, and it's under HM10 Bluetooth. HM10 is the low energy Bluetooth, and the reason that's important is it works with both um, iPhones and Android, so some of the other ones only work with Androids, this works with both. There's a fantastic application called Dabble that you can use um, that allows you access to this. Now, what we have got, is the revision two? We've 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 taken there's a few orders I think for people who want to buy one of the, buy these. But what I'll probably end up doing is send revision two to everybody. Now what revision two is is some slight improvements on this. The first thing that revision two does is it gives you some 1k resistors on the TX and RX line on these DF players. The challenge you've got with these is that depending on the nano that you use, these DF players can be quite noisy. Um, and that noise is sorted out with, with a couple of resistors. So the resistors then are on board. So um, that's that's an improvement and it's a fix. I've got a manual fix that I've put with that little resistor in place there. These particular nano boards with the small chips seem to work perfectly. It's the bigger chips that we have issues with. So that's the first fix is, is, is making sure that we've got resistors on the two lines on there for sound reduction. The second thing we've done is rather than the, this being hardwired into the serial on the DF player, we've got a couple of jumpers that give you an option as to whether you want to go into the hardware serial or whether you want to run it off a software serial. And the advantage that that gives you is you can do um, USB diagnostics on here with the DF player um running so it just gives you an extra visibility when it comes to diagnostics otherwise you're kind of running running blind a little bit 
Um, so there's a three pin connector, uh, a couple of three pin connectors that allow you to switch between hardware or switch between software serial. Um, so that there's, there's some extra ones on there. So a couple of extra resistors, a couple extra on that. The last thing that we've done is given um, a pin out for five volts. So at the moment, all of these are directly to whatever's on this battery, which is six volts. And we've taken a five volt uh, output from this regulator, just in case you wanted to power another logic device um, through that. So what the revision two gives you, and that's the ones that we'll be shipping, is the bare, bo bo bare bones board. Um, and once soldered up, it allows you to plug a nano in, a sound card, a Bluetooth module, and what you can do is by depending on the code, you can run the Bluetooth module to control the DF player. You can get it to run various motors or speed controllers, but you can also run lights if you want to do on there, LED lights, um, etc. For, for your build, all off, all off one board. And uh, what I've also done obviously with the mouse droid is that, that this is the standard driver board if you want to use a Bluetooth option, you can use RC as well. Um, and what we'll do is, uh, is, is some of the other ones will probably use these because they are neat little boards and it means that people can just use them as they see fit um, with the uh, with some of the Bluetooth applications. I'm using Dabble, so I'd, I'd, I'd have a look at that app. It's it said it's really simple, but there are a couple of other ones on the App Store that allow you to almost design custom controllers for droids uh, with this. So I think this will be um, this will be quite. I'm quite excited about this on the. How simple it might make rather than having to run wiring high, uh, harnesses and all of the complexity that we've seen on things like the um, uh, the DO and some of the other builds that we've got. So quick overview on that one. Um, where we are with that, uh, the version 2 is, um, I should have them in. I'm hoping the, the build should be a couple of days and then it'll be about three or four days to get it over. So I'm hoping by the back end of next week um middle to back end of next week i should have these in and then what i'll do is just start shipping these for, for for people that have ordered them if you desperately want the old version which are these um the 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 change depending on the nano that you use is to scratch out one of the tracks and to manually solder that resistor in um which is it's a bit of a faff but it's it's more than possible uh, to do and what I'm doing at the moment is just testing different nanos to see what the compatibility is between the nano and the SD card It's not related to the board. It's related more to an issue between the SD card and the nano But I want to try and put as much documentation in to support it the build on these they are bare bones It's fairly easy. I mean, it's a matter of soldering mainly pin headers to be honest, uh, which are all of these sockets um, a couple of resistors um, on the ones that I'm shipping out, I'm putting the, um, the this this regulator on there. Um, this connector will be on there as well, and there'll be a shorting pin, and the rest are basic components, so you can get them from from anywhere. Um, so yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much the uh, the Bluetooth um, module as it stands at the moment. Um, Mister, what we called it, which is on there, which is the. Um, Mr. BLE, which is Mr. Bluetooth Lite Micro. Um, and as I said, we'll, we'll ship out on the second revision.